Hello and welcome back. Hope you are getting used to Bootstrap site and can navigate it easily. You will feel comfortable soon with Bootstrap after a couple of hands-on exercise. As I told you previously, if you have not done the exercise from previous lesson, then I strongly recommend that you stop here and go back and do the previous exercise. Well, if you won't follow along the exercise, then you won't build any skill after the end of the course. It's like watching a movie and forgetting it. And you and me both of us don't want to spend time for nothing. At least I want you to get some skills. So I assume you have done the previous exercise. Well, all right then, let's continue. In this topic, you will write some code and build your own portfolio website with Bootstrap. I'm super excited to teach you how to show off yourself with a cool website and we will build it in just 15 minutes. How's that? Is it cool? Let's do it then. Okay, in the previous topic we have seen how to download and configure bootstrap on your local machine so in this topic we will write a official hello world program with all the proper components in it right so i'm going to show you how you should start your project by using the right bootstrap configuration okay previously we downloaded everything onto our local system this step does not require to download anything that's the proper way to use bootstrap so the first thing i'm in the get bootstrap.com site Go to documentation page, go to this starter template. Just click on the starter template. You have a starter template here. Just copy this file. Go to the editor that you have. So what editor I'm using, you can look at visual studio code.visualstudio.com. It's code.visualstudio.com. Okay. And then you can download this software. This is software I'm using it here and I have my folder. I have used open folder to open that folder. Okay, now I'll create the file here. The file will be, I'll call it as index.html. So once you create that file, it will be visible in the editor. Okay, I'll just copy and paste the code. This is the code I have pressed copy here. And this is the code I have pressed paste here. Okay, I have the code. I'll just simply save this. Okay, then I'll open this file so drag and drop onto the browser or double click it there you go so you have your first official hello world page with the right configuration of the bootstrap you can inspect it you don't have any issue here typically if you don't have an internet you will find some issues here but if you have access to the internet then this program should work fine okay this is how we typically write start up our website project with the right configuration of the bootstrap you always start with the starter template okay and if you observe from the previous step we haven't downloaded the css file or the javascript file nor even we haven't touched any any configuration into the file we directly went into the starter template and copy and paste it so why this actually works because you see the css file is referred from a cdn it's a place it's an url that is pointed to the CSS file. So let's observe this. When you copy this, and I'm pasting the URL here, you can see the whole CSS file is here. Similarly, you can find for the JS file as well. So you see, I'm referring to the exact file that is the latest file of the bootstrap into my page. So I don't have to worry about downloading and updating it when I go to production. Okay, so this is a very basic step very important step as well just to show you that how is the right way to get the get the website project started with bootstrap next we will look into an example of how to build your own portfolio okay so try this exercise i have some more exercise for you to make changes to this and then we'll come back to how to build your own portfolio Okay, so I believe you have done the starter template exercise and then now you know how to build your own template. Okay, so head over to bootstrap.com. This time we will build your portfolio site. Okay, I will build mine and I want you to configure it exactly like same and then put all your details there. So head over to examples first. We will pick one sample here and I believe I like the Jumbotron, this one. Okay so let's open this up so what i do i go to examples and i click this link okay so you see this we will build something like this okay so to get this code just right click and 
view page source so you have your source code okay so i need this source code to be exactly like as i want okay so let's build our portfolio exactly like this site so the first thing we will create an index.html file then we will open this in our visual code editor file open folder select the folder okay so we have our index.html now the first thing we do so this is the jumbotron right click on it say view page source you will see the page source copy this control a to copy control c to copy and then you can paste it here okay so now you have your jumbotron page ready but there are some references here we will edit it first then we will start editing this file okay and if you remember we have done the previous exercise on starting up from a starter template let's open that up this is my starter template so i will open this up okay so how we got the starter template again just to recollect go back to get bootstrap home page documentation go to starter template so this is the template that i'm showing it here okay so you see we have your bootstrap here so we'll copy this and we will remove the bootstrap from which is referring to a local file okay and then in the end if you go to the end of the html code you can find all those references which is still pointing to the local file system so we'll remove that again go to your template just copy over this scripts nothing fancy here we just copy pasting the javascript reference and the css reference okay so now you have your jumbotron ready jumbotron page ready and then we don't need this icon we remove this and we have this jumbotron.css okay so let's get this file so how do you get that file again when you go to your view source you click on this link it's a clickable right then you see there's nothing here you can either copy this or you can even save as this file you can right click and save as save link as okay that's one way or you can copy and paste into the jumbotrons.css so i've done this in the downloads folder let me find that okay so this is what the file i've downloaded how i downloaded i went to the view source right click on it save link as okay and it will download the file so now i have the download folder i just copy and paste the file here okay and then we go back to our code now okay so we should have this file how do we have that file because i have downloaded the file in the same index.html so it will refer to this file okay so let's open this file okay so this is a file that is coming up from my system not from the bootstrap system so right click and inspect you have any errors so we don't have any errors which is good and you see the whole source code is as is shown in the bootstrap site you don't find any difference here because we are referring to the right css style sheet and the same javascript instead of referring to the local path we are referring to the cdn path okay so i have changes that i have done i have removed the uh, icon then i have removed the local reference of css and the local references of javascript and copied it from the starter template and the step 2 i have downloaded this jumbotron.css and i have copied into the folder okay so next let's try editing the site and we will make this site look and feel like your own site okay so let's do that in the next section okay so let's build your portfolio so before that i want to show you the portfolio that i have created okay so this is the portfolio that i have created based on the bootstrap template okay the template that we have just been using let me open that template 
this is the template we were using okay so let me close all other windows okay so now what we want to do is we want to convert this page into something like this does it look awesome because like this you have your own portfolio and then we will do this in less like 15 minutes okay so let's do that so for first what we'll do we'll open that file index.html so instead of editing in this file what i'll do i'll create one more file on my name okay so i should have my file and i'll copy paste the code here okay so let me see this file okay so we are building a site like this okay and so we will do step by step first is the title you see there's a title here my name and portfolio but we have a different title here so let's go and change that so that's a title tag let's see okay that's been modified next I'll change this name navbar to my name make it caps look nicer okay so I have my name I'll remove all these things I'll keep two name two links one home and my resume home is still there pointing to nothing then you have link here you can say my ratio okay and I'll disable the rest of it and how do you disable it right you can there's a notation less than simple apostrophe dash dash and then once you type it will come automatically you see take the last two dash dash and greater than symbol and then just paste it Okay, it will color code also for you indicating that this has been disabled. So let's see that. Okay, so that's been disabled. So let's change the text. So I don't want to waste your time typing here. So I will try to copy paste this. So I will remove even the search bar. So we don't want the search. So what I can do, I can comment this out. Control front slash control front slash okay that's the key so hello world I don't want that I want to say it's me Srinivas Vanamala okay and I put some random text stating something about me and I don't want to learn more you say my resume you can say access my resume okay let's see this wow this looks so nice but you see I have my picture here and I don't have a picture here so let's add those picture okay for that you need to add the image tag so I have the code here I have my picture so you can even download the picture and then put a local reference but I have the image already on my website so I'm using that URL okay and now how it get rounded there's a class for it called rounded circle so this is the class that basic that basically makes the image round okay so let's see this it's nice but there's no margin here let's add, add the margin as well okay so we'll do that margin part later I'll show you how we're gonna do that so let's work on this headings now so in the in my page I have my skills my experience and my education okay so I'll copy paste that code so here I have this I have my skills my experience and my education I'm just copying it here just to save both of our time 
and this is a text so you can start typing it right and this is a text saying heading one two three right i removed it and i pasting it here okay now let's view this okay looks awesome then we'll change the company we'll say srinivas perfect you see it's not even one it's not even five minutes and we are almost close to completing the website okay how do you get the spacing between the text and between the image so i want to show you that you there's a spacing here okay you can add margin here right so we'll go ahead and add the margin so for that i have added a simple style and i know it's a container it's an image i'm adding some margin to the right right perfect and uh, you see there's a black color but i want i like red so i will change that as well and uh, this is the class and that's it done you see i have my portfolio ready now this link you can this link access my resume you can find the link here right in this href you can put your resume dot doc file in a dropbox get a link put the link here that's it done so anyone who is accessing your portfolio you just give them access to your resume once they click it they can download your resume right see how simple is it not even 10 minutes we have finished your portfolio site and looks very awesome you are far more better than the people who carry around papers and give it to a interviewer instead of you actually showing that then you have a skill to develop a website and eventually you have developed it so this shows your confident level higher than the people who have haven't tried out their experience or they haven't really tried out building a website but for you you have done a website now when you go to an you know you go and show off to your friends or show off to your interview saying that see i have a website you can download my resume from there even to the hr recruiter right you can just say this is my site can you go to it and then you know my resume is there online so what i want you to do is do this exercise create your own page right with whatever text you want you can add on some of the new components here show whatever you want to put into your portfolio site send it to me and i'll upload it onto my web server and then you can use that url in your resumes to, and to show off your friends okay cool so i'm waiting for your feedback i'm also waiting for your source code send it to me and then we will work together to build your site okay so see you in the next class Bye for now.